we're going here to go here from HR Utilities. And today I'm going to be showing you how to put OS X Mavericks on your Dell XPS 8500. Now, this is a tutorial that is very involved, so you need to make sure you follow all the steps so you don't mess up your PC. <laughs> okay, so first thing first, um, if you have these specific uh, system requirements, you can proceed with this tutorial. Otherwise, you need to hit up Google um, and search for the correct tutorial because I'm making one specific to my Dell XPS. So the system requirements that you need is you need to have the Intel uh, Core i5 Ivy Ridge uh, 3550p uh, 3.10 gigahertz processor with no integrated graphics and you need the model which also contains the NVIDIA GT640 graphics card. So, if you have those uh, specs, you can proceed with the tutorial. Um, now I want to give a few shout outs to three people who made this video possible. Uh, Bob Roach from CPU Kid, um, he's the one who made the original tutorial uh, for his Hackintosh, and I'm just following up making a specific tutorial for the Dell XPS. So, thanks Bob Roach for making this video possible. Secondly, my cousin brother who provided the Mavericks DMG file from his Mac, uh, so thanks again. And finally, Balraj who made this thumbnail for the video, so thanks to everyone, uh, but let's get started. So first things first, uh, we need to get a 8 gig USB. Um, it has to be 8 gig, nothing smaller. So if you've got an 8 gig USB, uh, just go to Spotlight and open up Disk Utility. From there. You need to click on your uh, USB, you need to hit a partition, click 1. Now make sure you back up everything on the USB otherwise you will lose it. So yeah, don't forget to back everything up. Make sure it's set as OS 10 Extended Journaled, call it whatever you like, I'm just going to call it USB. And make sure when you click options it's set as Master Boot Record. And after that, just hit apply and partition. The reason why we need it as MBR is because that's what Windows PCs use to boot up. So it will just make the whole process easier. So after we've done that, we need to go into our finder, go to our applications, and we need to locate our install OS 10 Mavericks. So right click that and show package contents. From there, you need to double click on contents go to shared support and mount this install esd.dmg file so just go ahead and mount that you can skip the verification process and then once you've uh, got the packages um, you can close out this window and you need to run a program called invisible x links will be in the description um, and what it does is it just allows us to show the hidden files this is completely necessary because as I'll show you in the next step, we need this base system.dmg file which is hidden. So in order to make the USB, we need to have this base system. So if you right click on that and hit open, skip the verification process again, you can see everything's here. So now what we need to do is open up disk utility again. And then you need to go to your 8 gig sand disk or whatever USB you have. Uh, it doesn't have to be 8 gigs by the way, it can be larger, but nothing smaller. Uh, so you need to go to partition, uh, sorry, r restore. Then you need to drag this OS X base system to the source. And then you need to drag USB or whatever you've called it to the destination. Then you need to hit restore, erase, and then just type in your password. Oh, putting the wrong password. All right. So currently it's saying two minutes. I'll be back once this is done. So just let the process sit through. It may take a little bit of time, but you know, it depends on your specs. So, see, it's already gone up to five minutes. So just wait, don't worry how long it takes. It's gonna be fine. So that finished pretty quick. It wasn't eight minutes, it was more like four. So what you can now do is just close out of every single window that's gone and opened up in your face. <laughs> so what you need to do now is hit Command and J, or Windows key and J. And I learned this from Bob so just tick show item info and it'll come up with whatever's free so you know which ones your USB 
So just for the sake of it, let's rename this to Mavericks Installer. Okay. So we need to open up the Mavericks Installer, and we need to navigate to System Installation Packages, and we need to move that to the trash because that's just a shortcut to this packages folder. So we need Command Copy or Windows Copy and paste that into this installation folder. Now this it's going to take quite a long time because as you can see it's 4.8 gigs so just let it sit through uh, hopefully it won't take as long as it says it says 60 minutes but in my experience it only takes about 9 so yeah just just let it sit through It'll eventually complete so I'll be back again once this is finished I don't know how long it took I wasn't even counting because you know that's why I do sit here and count Anyway, let's just close out these folders, and now what we're going to need is, well, one, we can uh, hide our hidden files, we don't need those anymore, uh, we can clean up, I just like to keep things tidy OCD. Anyway, um, now what you need to do is open up this Mavericks folder, um, and I'm thinking the first thing we should do is put all the necessary utilities in. So we need a copy of a chameleon wizard. We need a copy of a kext utility. We need a copy of a multi beast. Uh we need to copy of uh, these extensions. Oops. And we need to clean up since I'm mostly like that. Anyway, um so now that we've done that, I think we should install our bootloader. So just click continue, 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 agree, change install location and change it to the install drive, continue, and you need to hit customize, that's very important. And then what you need to do is you need to go to settings, and you want to go to kernel flags, and just in case you want to tick verbose boot and oops don't do that um just click verbose boot um that's for the first one after that you can disable it and then you need to make sure ethernet built in equals yes that is very very important uh you can set your resolution here but i don't need to do that right now uh video make sure graphics enabler equals yes very very important you can go to themes and make sure standard is selected and right now I think everything is there so just hit install put in your password install the software let it write the files and then it's done so just hit close and now we need to go to our Mavericks installer we need to open up this extra folder and we need to open up this org.chameleon.boot.plist with text edit. Uh, the only reason why I'm doing it with text edit is because I've got Xcode installed and it just messes around with things. So graphics enabler has to be no, otherwise it won't boot um, with full resolution capabilities. It just won't. It, uh, it's never worked for me. Never. Um, it's always blurry and you'd have to reset the resolution each and every time and I don't know many people who don't want to do that <laughs> okay um, so the next thing we have to do is install our extensions to make sure our PC will work so to do that we need to go into system library extensions and we need to copy and paste these three extensions where's copy oh, there and paste it in and then, don't know why that's coming on my second monitor, but just hit replace, and then clean up by name. Okay, so then what we need to do is we need to put this OS install um, file in. So you need to go to installation, packages, and just replace this with this. Replace, clean up by name, as always. Um, clean up by name. <laughs> just has to be okay and um, we still got one more file to copy over so we need to go system again library 
private frameworks and then you need to go to install.frameworks I'm just typing in then you need to go to frameworks os install.framework versions a and then copy and paste this file over here and replace and then clean up by name it just has to be done okay um so that's everything currently yeah everything is now installed so make sure you have chameleon wizard oh, damn it kex utility multi beast and you need to have these extensions as well and the last thing we need to do is we need to go to system library extensions and then we need to go to apple acpip platform.kext apple ahci port.kext and apic kext we need to copy those and put those in our extension folder here okay um, this is just future proofing ourselves because um, sometimes when you co replace the Intel Apple CPU power management kext it sometimes uninstalls those three kext and you need to use kext utility to put uh, those kext back into the right place and update the permissions so that's why we needed to put uh, those programs on uh, we need multi beast because we won't have an internet connection when we boot up into that Mac and we need Chameleon Wizard just as we want it. Well, we will need it to manufacture our SM bytes. So, if you've got everything there, you can do this last step. Now, I nearly forgot about this, so lucky me I saved myself. Is open up an application called Pacifist, uh, link will be in the description, and we need to extract an important file called the Mac kernel. Without this, Chameleon can't boot the installer drive. So it's very important that you have this file on your Mavericks installer USB. So what you need to do is hit open package. You need to go to this Mavericks install uh, OSX install ESD. Hit packages and go to base system binaries and hit open. Then what you want to do is hit click this Mac kernel, extract to, click Mavericks installer whatever you call your USB and then hit choose, extract and then put in your password oops and um, this should take about two minutes um now don't quit this tutorial after you've finished installing os 10 because there's two very very important steps you need to do after that to make sure os 10 can boot and it's not installing the bootloader to the hard drive it's well, I'll get to that in a minute. So just verify that there is a Mac kernel in there and you can close out of all these windows. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is going to be the first part. Um, and then in the second part, I'm going to be showing you how to install it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back in a few days. See you later. Peace.